Welcome to episode 2 of the Beginner's Guide to No Money Spent in Mad 25 Ultimate Team. Don't worry guys, we got a lot of stuff to talk about for this week because this is week 2 of Madden. So let's start off with the first thing that I told you guys last thing for the first episode 1. Is that the very first thing you should do when you log into Madden, you should be doing the No Money Spent. Why am I saying No Money Spent? The Uniform Coin Bet. That should be the very first thing you should do. You should always have uniforms, stadium coaches, whatever, anything from the base items always selling. If you guys are not sure how to do it, you just simple, buy three gold cards for under 1,000 coins, put them into the set, make check whichever selling for the most, and post it up. That's it. It's not that complicated to do. So now that's out the way, you're probably wondering, what's the next thing we should be doing? If you guys have been doing number two if you guys have not done these yet you should be doing the season of boom ult slash ultimate boom solo challenges they give you some great rewards they have really really juice pack odds because after you complete and you should also do the season boom battle pass if you guys have not been doing this these packs are really juice specifically the set the broken to an exchange pack you could do it about three times you get an 80 plus and a lot of people are packing these 85 overalls i packed one i actually packed 285 but there were two of the exact same cards which was this camp chancellor the other cards i did pack from the little glitch last week so we'll talk about that something else but i did pack this camp chancellor twice so i had to quick sell one of them which is really bad for me but i highly recommend if you guys have not done it do those solo challenges because you're gonna get yourself that cam chancellor for free and cam is currently going for 300k if you're lucky i saw people pull like four or five 85 overall cards so you should go and attempt to see if you do it number two or number three technically the third thing you should be doing is straight up making sure to do all your xp solo challenges if you guys have not done them every week they drop some new challenge so you should go ahead and knock out those xp challenges pretty simple to do nothing complicated in general with the xp challenges simple in general Number three, if you guys have not known, the, we now have now, the, oh, let me go back, those ledge solo challenges, now make sure to knock them all out because we're able to get ourselves enough, or we got enough tokens to get ourselves a free legend. So you're probably wondering what set I'm going to talk about, if you should head over to the programs, head over to the legends tab, you're going to notice over here in the 85 through 86 legend set, you are able to actually complete this now as of today. And you guys could get yourself a, a legend pack with any legend currently available right now. But here's one thing that I should mention. If you do not like any of the legends currently available right now, you could just wait. You don't have to redeem it right now. You could just wait and redeem it like say next week when you they drop a legend you want. As soon as you redeem the set, it is locked in. Pretty much the cards available are locked in. So I recommend before you do the set, make sure you know who you're going to get. Don't open, do, don't do the set. Open and be like, eh, I don't know who to get. And then close it because then those players are locked in. I highly recommend choose before you, you decide who you want to do. It. And the reason I'm not doing it because I know there's a Michael Vick coming out soon. And I'm not sure if that's a limited card or if it's just a regular set card. If it's a regular set card, that everyone's going to be getting that Michael Vick for free. So next thing we're going to be talking about is the last thing is a coin method I did saw or I've been noticing recently. And I'm not too sure if, if it is profitable. I've been noticing over a month on GG that these 82 overall season of boom cards have been selling for under 60k and they currently sell for roughly about 80k. So here's a little coin method if you guys have not. I would probably spend a couple minutes refreshing this filter and see if you could get any um, season boom cards for under 80k. I did this method, was it last week when it was working really good? It was very good. Like in like 30 minutes I was able to make like 70k. So I recommend to just pay attention to this 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 filter, season of boom program, 82 to 83, and just keep refreshing and try to get them for under 70k. And if you get them for under 70k, try to flip them for I say 78 to 79k is solid. They'll sell quick enough so you can keep on making your coins and keep profiting. And that's pretty much it of all the methods so far, everything we should be doing this week for week two. You guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. Hopefully I explain everything effectively or easiest way possible. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section down below and make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe and stay tuned. We'll probably drop another video very soon in the next couple of days. And I'll see you guys next time.